Now, another thing is, you can't infringe upon my freedom of religion even if you don't have one and don't want to acknowledge the Christmas angels or the Christmas times of year because uh, you feel embarrassed because you won't buy your child a present or something around this time of year, which is the point of it all, right? Giving to those less fortunate than you, even your own children, if need be, if need be. Now, do you have to worship Christmas? No. <laughs> but it wouldn't hurt to give your child a single toy or something around this time of year anyway. Anyway, Even if you don't worship Christmas. Oh, I'm saying Jehovah's Witnesses are people like that too, right? Even Christians can be self-righteous in the worship of a holy day, right? Where the wise men gave the gifts to Jesus, frankincense, myrrh, and gold, right? <laughs> the example there, right, of giving a gift to a child, right, on a holiday. On a holiday. <laughs> now, it might have been up to two years after he was born anyway that they finally got there. Though the angels did sing happy birthday to Jesus, <laughs> Not verbatim, but okay. <laughs> On the day he was born, and the shepherds went to see. <laughs> that was the day he was born. They celebrated his birthday in heaven, so you can't celebrate a human's birthday on the earth. Uh, why not? Because <laughs> the Jews didn't do it. <laughs> Is that the only reason, Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> okay. If you want to not do that, who's going to make you worry? But then if other people are, you seem to stick in the bud about it, right? Oh, let's not do it. <laughs> again, again, details, details. Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Now, some men, though, like I keep telling them, are obsessed with being with a virgin, honey. <laughs> Don't blame me for that shit. Blame Moses, because he talks of the woman giving, again, a token of her virginity anyway on the red night. You know. I know what that means. I know. Even around Little Ronnie. You know. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> now, like I said, right... So, how is the hairline really doing that? Mm -hmm. About the same, right? The hair's growing out. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but for nine months, they've been on about it. That it's receding, right? Does it look like it's really receding to you? <laughs> or to them? Because <laughs> they're denying my hair, how it works. <laughs> it's been like this. Since 07, too. You're just trying to focus on it more. <laughs> and trying to make me think and judge myself that I'm going bald when I'm not. <laughs> or it's receding when it's the same, I know. It's always been this way. I've showed you back in 07 anyway. <laughs> you just are denying it now. <laughs> Do I care? No. <laughs> I don't care if you deny it. <laughs> it ain't going to change it, ain't it? <laughs> I know. And that's your malfunction. I know. You act like other men aren't worried about it either. Either <laughs> if they have a higher hair line on one side than the other, right? Which is all it has to be. I know. <laughs> the left is lower, the right a little higher, but it's not receding. I know. Now, that's all someone can do about it, too, is show you, oh, okay, well, it's been nine, ten months now. <laughs> We're entering slowly into the month of November next month, right? This month, right? <laughs> so, you've been on about it since when? <laughs> Around the time of coronavirus? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> a little bit before, a little bit before. You started harping on it, right? Harpy. That's what I mean. Your perception is not the whole law. There's other laws for the male parent, even a step parent as well. 
he can do certain things with his stepdaughter late at night as long as it's not really sexual. And then you have to prove the sexuality, whoever it is. It's not just simply you wanting it to be something sexual when it's not. I didn't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be asleep and she'd be in there with me alone? <laughs> what, you're at the door? and <laughs> Watch her to go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay, why didn't you come out when I went over to her and... <laughs> Started helping her go pee, but she didn't go pee right away, but made sure she didn't pee already, but didn't know what was going on. Right. See, that's a little bit different, okay? <laughs> if I knew you were there, <laughs> of how I would even explain what I was doing, huh? Until I knew you were there or not, or not. <laughs> <clears throat> See, then once I know you're there, I can say, oh, well, I was just making sure she didn't pee that night. All right. And you can't disprove that. And then you have to go to the police and explain what was going on then too. Whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> Whoever's making up this part of the story, right? That I never said happened. <laughs> at all, at all. <laughs> like I said, with all I've been through, I know molestation of a child can happen anywhere. Even with the mom in the same bedroom as her. <laughs> but it don't mean it happened either. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. That's all you can say about it, too, I know. If you know molestation is a real thing, right? But the difference is attitude of the person watching you or not, or you're telling the story to or not on base. Though there's a third person who can know, too, if he was doing something weird with her himself. I don't know. <laughs> or if he had the bather or the wife bathed her or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on either, I know. But if the child's not going to the bathroom like you would expect her to, right? As soon as you pull down her panties, usually she goes straight there. She still has to pee, right? And you're just assisting her. <laughs> That's called an assist <laughs> to help her go to the bathroom. <laughs> if I don't see you in the living room with her, I don't think she's in there alone too, right? But still think she's going to the bathroom. Why not? Whoever it is I'm explaining this to. Right. Now, again, then if I lay her down and she's still laying down and don't get up to do anything, right? I got to wonder what else she might need in the bathroom. <laughs> Two other things. A shower. Wash your hands. Or a bath, right? <laughs> Well, to do one, I have to see if she's comfortable with me naked to do a shower with her. Right? Don't mean again you're trying to have sex with her or not. No. Because <clears throat> I wouldn't even touch myself or... <laughs> but it's a woman. Halsey is a grown woman. You see what I mean? No. You're so self-righteous. You don't know how to be human anymore. Mm -hmm. That's a problem for everyone around you, too. No, it is. You don't realize human sexuality and desire of a woman, if you're a man, is okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. Well, we don't even know. Oh, no. Don't even know if Halsey's in a relationship. Not that it's my business to know. <laughs> but if she is, I'm happy for her. But it still don't mean I'm not going to desire her. <laughs> These are, uh, and I'm not trying to lust after her because I'm not going to plot to get into her life to have sex with her, right? That's where it becomes lust, right? You have to have her, right? And you plot to go get her, right? That becomes lust, right? Even if she says no, you, some people are willing to go that far. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of them, no. I can stop on the dime if I need to, right? And realize this looks awkward to, even to me, but I would still ask someone if that happened who showed her that. <laughs> Little girl herself, come on. <laughs> you might not want that to be part of the story, but it is for my side, for my side, whether I remember it or not. 
Because she's not supposed to be there with me alone, period. Right. You're supposed to walk her all the way to the bathroom if she's going to the bathroom, right? Then I see you if I wake up, for chance, right? Or ain't fully asleep yet. <laughs> and see her, right? <laughs> Which appears to me to help her by herself, right? And then I'm wondering, well, did she wander in here by herself trying to go to the bathroom, but uh, is now looking at me, and then, right, right. Mm hmm Maybe she needs assistance. <laughs> Going to the bathroom. <laughs> mm hmm Whatever. Mm hmm Now, like I told you, I know, my little circle is here. Mm hmm And I know you're messing with and sabotaging any relationship, I stand a chance to even get in, so I'm just behaving right now. Right? But like I told you, I'm in Georgia. Amanda would have to come here to do something with me. <laughs> I don't even know where she lives. I'm not keeping track of her that way. I know you're not. Never would. No. Or Sheena or Mary Bell. Once I broke up with her. Mm -hmm. Sheena broke up with me, but I was confused about why, so I hung in there for nine months in case she got pregnant. Right. Daffy, I knew you got pregnant right away, but was kind of confused about it myself. When I was with Mary Bell, didn't know if the child was mine or not, but promised a DNA test to find out, and he was, anyways. Again, again. we settled all the minor stuff. The only thing remaining is, did your daughter come in there to me or not and let me do these things to her or not? And can you get over it if she did or didn't? <laughs> That's all we can do is move on from it either way. Either way, Whatever your side of the story is, if it comes down to you watching me from the bedroom with a damn mirror, <laughs> which don't prove anything. You can't prove contact with a mirror. Mm -hmm. The mirror does not show you what I'm doing in front of me, only in front of you, right? It usually leaves your view askew, right? It could even look like to you I'm licking it, and I could be this damn far away from her and you not even tell. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? If it's that close, right? And I'm smelling her with her nose, not licking her with my tongue. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My tongue don't even reach my nuts. Some people do. Some people do. Like Gene Simmons, for one. <laughs> he might not can do that. <laughs> one time, one time. Mm -hmm. If you see what I mean. right? <laughs> but I might could one time to make sure she didn't pee and then come back up immediately. Mm -hmm. And then if she's still laying there after that, go over by the couch giving you both, right? You to intervene for her or her to go back to you, right? She kind of stays there. I'm trying to figure out what she needs next, which could be a shower or wash her hands. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. And I told you, I remember taking a shower with my mom when we lived off of it. You drive, which I was around three or four. Ask her. Ask her. <laughs> if I'm lying or I'm dying, right? <laughs> That's another problem. Your experience ain't my experience, nor my experience, your experience. We're not going to see it the same. Right or wrong. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good or evil. We're all a little different. Some people are also easy to forgive others for their own perception of reality. And some people are quicker to condemn even if they're wrong. Right. That's the problem, too, right? But you know it's building up to that anyway. <laughs> From the time you started the fight with me, and I had to pick you up with you in the bed, till then. Right? But who's being the aggressor there? Tit for tat? You started it, and I'm finishing it? <laughs> but who's starting it? Who's finishing it? That's important, too, right? How far do you go with it? Is this such a big deal, even if she did say Grandma shared her that? 
<laughs> no, no. Yes or no questions. That's all my lawyer will ask you as well. <laughs> mm, we're all entitled to a defense or no. Even if I did lick it, right? That's where you got to prove that. Mm, with saliva on our vagina, right? <laughs> And that's why you don't sit on it, Ralph. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> you go to the police, so I have to explain what I was really doing within 48 hours. I know. Which I could still be doing that. I'm just guessing anyway. Who else can know but my ex-wife, someone on base, or Sal, or Pastor Thomas, right? Like I said, I'm naming the people I was around who were... Having a hard time with me. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, right? Like I said, right? So you can't prove nothing. So no. It's all theories, even on his side, if I would do something with his daughter, just because I'm mentally ill anyway. anyway. And then he would have to be coaching her to go in there to me, or him, right? And the wife be playing Daphne, right? And he be playing me. <laughs> right? Right. That's if she's not watching or even if she is watching, right? She's not acting as a normal child would once you walk away from her. She got to pee real bad. She goes to a good pee, right? If she walk over to the couch. Right? Well, like I said, I'm basing it on what she might can see and might not see if she's watching as well. Or what Sal might would coach her in, right? If he knew I was sleeping on the couch as well. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Sarah could have done this himself, right? Not provable, right? I wasn't around them to witness it, nor are they around me who ever saying this to witness it either, right? See, the strongest thing ain't a watcher, but a witness, right? And the problem is if Daphne starts lying about her, what she saw or not, right? She's hurting her credibility there when she starts trying to tell the truth. So no. But if I'm the one telling the truth of what I might could have done, I know, I'm not trying to deceive anybody. She is, she is, or he is, or he is, or someone on base is, right? And I would tell them all of the same basic setup, right, of how it would have to happen and go down, right? And if they're acting like they know, they're not there to know. <laughs> Keep telling them that. And even the mentally ill person, I'm not like the movie Psycho. Mm -hmm. Or I'd have had a knife out or something. <laughs> right? I would have went to the kitchen and got a knife and tried to get her up. And that's apparent too. <laughs> if you're a homicidal maniac, you would have done killed your wife unless you're waiting for the daughter and the wife and then you could just kill them both at night. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Without any drama. I don't know. If you're a serial killer. <laughs> but I'm not that either. I don't know. <laughs> whole point. Whole point. <laughs> it's to see if you do. It's to see if you do. But it's to see if you do. Act like you know what I'm thinking when you don't write. And who's telling you that? Who's telling you that? Someone you know and trust more than me who you don't even know and trust yet, right? That's still prejudice towards the mentally ill, and that's the problem with everyone if you have an unusual experience in your work environment and they're trying to cover their ass, right? Or with your ex-wife or with someone on base or with Salvador himself being uncomfortable that his daughter's around schizophrenic, right? See, all that points to motive, right? Mm -hmm. Whether Daphne was awake or not, too, right? And I wouldn't know that part. Only the daughter would know that part when she was in the room with her, right? And you can only witness what your immediate surrounding shows you, right? No more, no less as well. If Daphne's still in the room, I assume either she's asleep or watching me with an ear, right? Only thing you can do, right? Mm -hmm. Two possibilities to one guess, right? Of what she would be doing in there. All right. Now, if Salvador is coaching her, though, the girlfriend is playing Daphne, Sal's playing me, 
and get during the pattern of doing it so far herself, right? And he would have to do this more than once, right? To get her in that pattern. And someone on base shouldn't know at all. <laughs> that would just be a bold accusation, right? Out of nowhere, I don't know. <clears throat> and I might have even said to them, well, I could have molested them, but didn't if they were on and on about something, right? And that's still the key word. I could have molested them, but didn't. <laughs> right. Being in the proximity of her, <laughs> You could do something like that, but didn't, but didn't. There's no definitive, I know, except the didn't <laughs> in that sentence. Right? Also goes back to English and sentence structure and stuff like that you learn in high school. I know. <sighs> but right, if the shipmates wrote her, mine and the e fours. I oh, know. Typing might even be different. His typing signature will be different than yours. Will be different than mine too. That's another way to tell if someone's typing letters in your name is how do they type compared to how I type. I know. If they type more differently and uh, and they have a different sentence structure and they're more an A mm -hmm, typist and I'm more a C student, right? There's going to be differences, I know. <laughs> just in case, just in case, Sheena. Right. 